him in here! <clears throat> Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit, quick! Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. Okay. Come on, let's go. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Well, it has to blow over soon. Bridge coming up. Take it easy. Look out! Ugh. I can't believe we lost Davy, too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Uh, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac and Sean. We don't know. Quite a business. Yep. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope. Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. Whoa. You sure about this, Micah? Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. Where's every... What are you doing? Where's everyone else? Ugh. Hey, control that horse. Where's everyone else? Old mining camp, back up the hill. Huddled around a fire, waiting for Daddy to put food on the table. Said it before. We got... Okay. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Stuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. Pitch up here. Hold. Oh. 
Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Someone's having fun in there. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. What are you doing? Get inside the shed. Arthur, get in position. Come on. I said the cattle shed, Arthur. Not there. Over in the cattle shed. I said the cattle shed, Arthur. What are you doing? Get inside the shed. Shed, Arthur. Not there. Over in the cattle shed. Shed. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. 
I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. Now I, I just Arthur, need some. There's a body of food in the wagon. I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please, I am kind of desperate. Hey, I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here! It's goddamn Dutch Vanderlyn, you... Home is gonna shit his pants. Put your hands up! Over there! More of them! It's in! Like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. O'Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up.
starving. So you should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Meet me out here when you're done. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. I thought you were searching the barn. Run along, Arthur. Be a good little boy and check the barn, like Dutch told you. Check that barn.
Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here, and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? Uh, with the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> With. Good! That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Get that horse hitch. Don't want him bolting. with us. Arthur. Yes. It's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. No. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. 
misses. Ah. He... He was my husband. Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. <gasps> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed and he looked for me thank you this way last I know John was headed up the river for all we know he kept riding north and never looked back he wouldn't leave not like that uh, wouldn't be the first time Somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, welcome on there. 